she called the 2030 agenda arguably one of the finest moments for the UN, but argued that targets and goals could fall short if implementation doesn't begin in earnest. Has that it will take 50 years to achieve parity in political participation and 118 years for true pay equality between men and women at the current pace of change. To break these trajectories and achieve Planet 5050 by 2030 will take dramatic steps in the adoption of business unusual by all of us. The Secretary General warned that as long as women's rights are violated, the struggle for equality would never be over. Countries in the world where not a single woman is represented in the parliament, and eight countries in the world without any woman in the cabinet. I'm not going to disclose the names of the countries today, but I'm urging they know who you are. Are we checking? every day until the last day of my mandate as Secretary General. The General Assembly President brought the slow pace of change back to the UN's front door. The systems continue to pay lip services to gender priority and governments con continue to clamp down on those who defend human rights. And labor laws and practices remain sacked uh, in favor of men, as demonstrated by the fact that even in this organization, the United Nations, we have yet to see a female Secretary General. South Africa's delegation is headed by Minister in the Presidency responsible for women, Susan Shabangu, and the Minister of Small Business Development, Lindy Wezulu. Sherman Riceby's SABC News, New York.